YouTube. So the reason I decided to drop out of society is because, well, being a debt slave and being a rent slave does not sound like a good time to me. Um, in this economy, jobs just do not pay enough to live off of. Minimum wage is like, what, $8 an hour? And if you do the math, $8 an hour should be enough to live and to afford an apartment. Like, you would be making like 1200 bucks a month, you know? If you were working full time, 40 hours, but a lot of jobs don't want to give you 40 hours. And then there's all these taxes being taken out. And then you, you can barely afford an apartment because rent itself is like 800 bucks a month so then the only thing you can really afford is uh you know being in a cramped up apartment like sharing a room with a bunch of other people for 400 bucks a month or you could if you want to live on your own then you can work two jobs and if you want to make more than eight bucks an hour in this economy you have to go to school which means becoming sixty thousand dollars in debt for a major that you don't even want and for a major that could possibly not even land you a job when you're done with it like going to school doesn't even guarantee you a job like i know tons of people who have degrees they have bachelor's degrees and they're either unemployed or working at places like walmart mcdonald's for everybody's complaining about their hours and then, so everybody's complaining about their job, but they're also complaining about their home situation, about the house apartment that they live in because their landlord um, is a dick. <laughs> I mean, uh, they're always, landlords are always harassing you for money, and things in the house are always falling apart, your washing machine, your refrigerator, your sink, everything falls apart, and uh, the neighbor is complain and or you complain about the neighbors so the home situation sucks the work situation sucks and school is um you know is getting you in debt if you want to have nice things then you got to go in debt you know car payments and these mortgages they're all designed to put you in debt <laughs> like because there's so much interest being taken out of all these payments that you just end up not ever really paying for what you're getting. You're just paying for interest. And, um, you know, you can, there are ways to live comfortably, to have a place of your own without paying monthly, with not, without being a debt slave for the rest of your life, and without. Um, working 40 hours a week um, you know like living in a van you can I mean you still have to work you still have expenses but the expenses are cut dramatically to the point where you can work less you can enjoy your your time your free time you have more time to do things and time is money folks and you can spend that time working on a skill that you enjoy and try to make a career out of that rather than you know doing the nine to five shift that's what a lot of people say they admire about me is that i'm not doing the nine to five cubicle life um uh yeah even living in a tent can be free um there's people that um buy small pieces of land you know there's places in america where you can get a piece of land for like 250 or 500 bucks and there's you can get one of those 10 person tents it's like as big as a house practically. You pitch it on your land and you're living free. You don't have to make any monthly payments just for a small sum of, you know, a few hundred bucks. And um, that to me sounds a lot better than, uh, you know, paying credit card bills and rent to own and uh, car payments and stuff. You know, I was talking to my mom about possibly getting another van and, uh, you know, how much effort it would take to finance um but that would put me in debt for years which i mean if for some reason i lose my income it would get repossessed and then i would have a bankruptcy and that's the continuous cycle that uh, the government wants you to be in they just 
Um, it's not designed for you to ever own anything. And so I'm trying to live free. That's why I dropped out of society. Um, I could see myself working again, but it would have to be a career that I enjoy. It would have to be a skill, a trade that I am marketing, um, something that I actually want to do. Um, and you know, the college thing, all those majors are not really anything that anybody wants to do. Yeah, so that is my rant on, uh, on society's pressures. Um, and they try to cast you out, call you an outcast if you don't conform to the norms and say, you know, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that the way everybody wants me to do it. Uh, but that's not really my problem. <laughs> How I'm living isn't really anybody's business. Um, I don't think I could ever see myself in sticks and bricks unless miraculously things were cheap. <laughs> but uh, things aren't cheap. This is cheap. How much does this cost me? 50 bucks? So, yeah, I'm living free. And uh, I want you all to just. Just do whatever the hell it is you want to do. Okay? Peace out.